So now we're going to look at patching the multi-sample into contact. So in the window I've got a MIDI file with uh, two strum chords at E minor and A minor 7 just ready to loop and uh, you see that kind of in a strum pattern strumming up the strings. Velocity shape a bit like how you play a guitar sometimes you whack one string a bit harder than the others and often kind of maybe stronger as you go through the strum. Something like that anyway. In contact, I've got a, a default setting um, sort of instrument I usually have. It has a high pass and low pass filters assigned. They're actually assigned to MIDI controllers. The low pass is assigned to MIDI 74 and the mod wheel controls the uh, high pass filter. It doesn't particularly matter right now. What we do is map out the samples. Have a go and have a look. So let's get the amp ones and let's say I'm going to grab all of the uh, let's start at the bottom and grab the soft layer first. So here they are. Soft. Just drag them anywhere. Now what we can do is we can get it to auto map to the right key. Because we have the actual pitch in the file name, we can ask it to ignore the first part, ignore the velocity, but set that to a single key. So we say apply. We see them just all move in the background there. But also it's important to make sure they set the root note to that note as well. And there we go, that's that. Now to make sure it maps Obviously, does all the pitching ups. Um, we have to select all of the uh, notes that need just moving up a little bit. So what I do is I select everything that ne is in the range that needs to be done, and just deselect the ones I don't want to spread across two notes, like so. Almost there. There we go, and then just grab that one. And bingo, we're in business. Now, that's the soft layer. So we'll take that down to a velocity of 50. Right, and we'll call that and we'll make sure we edit the group to soft. Now, it's just good to actually give the velocities their own groups. It's just if we find that there's a velocity-related volume inconsistency. We can always grab each layer and just kind of tweak them. Uh, so then we do the same with the mediums. Again, just check them anywhere. Uh, let's just set the velocity now. So that's 51 to say 90. And then we can auto map. So we'll make root key is taken from the file name as is setting it to a single key and again just grab them all, all the ones that you need to move and then just deselect what you don't need so we can just stretch them across the whole keyboard now to give them a layer of their own just going to use this command, which is move to, an, uh, to a new clone group. Just means it's got exactly the same sort of filters and assignments, and everything just uh, uh, taken with it and copied. So we'll just name that. And that's medium. And then finally, the same with the hard layer. So it's going to auto map, single key, root, that's all done, let's just set the lower, so we had it up to 90 last time, so we'll start this one on 91, and then just select, ready to spread across the keys.
and again just gives them their own layer or group. Now when we're making overall adjustments we're going to leave it in edit all groups mode and make sure you know everything's kept together. Obviously the other thing to do is give it a name. And save it. So it's going to pop it in here. You can save the patch only and have this ticked absolute sample path. It remembers where the samples are, it knows that they're wherever I drag them from. If the two things become separated, then it can't find the samples. Um, so if you're ever grabbing one of these off the disk, open it up in in contact from the disk and then you can then always save it off from there using patch and samples and take it to wherever you want it on on your computer. So now the multi samples in go out of group editor mode unless you find something weird with it and can uh, just have a listen. <laughs> All sounding good, but notice then the the release was just a little soft. It's not really how it's played. So yeah, look, the release there is on a nominal of like 300 milliseconds, a third of a second ish. So I just take it back to like 50 milliseconds. It's kind of you know so that the time takes a guitar player to take hands off the strings or mute the strings. So let's just find that's tightened up a little bit. That's more like it. So uh, yeah. Um, always put some effects in there like a bit of delay or a bit of reverb to bring it out a little but also just check the uh, how the velocities are working uh, so let's grab all the notes, uh, pull it down. And up high, see how that is. Try it that way. plugins get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials we break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.